Hello, my dear students. Uh, last class, I explained uh, how to find uh, vertical stress distribution for the different cases, like for uh, concentrated load and uh, line load, slip load, and uh, uh, vertical stress distribution under uh, the rectangular loading and circular loading. Let us discuss some uh, examples on this topic. Uh, let us take this example: a rectangular area, two meter into four meter, carries a uniform load. Of 80 kilonewton per meter square at the ground surface. Find the vertical pressures at 5 meter below the center and corner of the loaded area. Okay, here it is asked to calculate uh, the uh, vertical stress at 5 meter below the center and also on the and the corner of the loaded area. Okay, so means uh, you can see here this is a given here like this uh, 2 meter into 4 meter this is uh, 2 meter and this is 4 meter okay you neglect all these lines just consider this outer line 2 meter and 4 meter now you have to calculate one point is here at a what is the um, uh, vertical pressure and other point is at B that is the corner of the loaded area now how to solve this uh, see let us find first for uh, uh, the center uh, when the point load is under the center of the area okay see here there will be influence of four rectangles of size 1 meter into 2 meter having a common corner at the center of the loaded rectangle okay so uh, now you can see this is a rectangle of given size 2 meter by 4 meter but when you mark the center you can see there are four uh, rectangles of size uh, 1 meter into 2 meter this is 1 half plus half 1 and this is 2 meter okay all are having a common corner at the center of the loaded rectangle okay now um, we have to find for the uh, center what is the load so now let us take this i will take this rectangle okay uh, then you can multiply by 4 once if you get what is uh, the uh, stress here you can multiply by this 4 you get the total so first let us consider this only this rectangle what is the size 1 meter by 2 meter this is 1 meter and this is 2 meter okay so area is uh, a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 meter so for the uh, rectangular um, uh, shape i have given some uh, formula so based on that for that you required a uh, m and you have to find m and n what is m m is equal to a divided by z okay what is a a is equal to 1 meter and z is equal to uh, 5 because it is asked to find the vertical pressure at 5 meter below the center so that is z so m is equal to 0 0.2 and what about n n is equal to b divided by z what is b b is equal to 2 and z is equal to 5.4 now you have m and n so based on this using the table you can calculate what is kb1 like that you have to calculate for kb2 kb3 kb4 uh, but if the loading is same now magnitude of the load is same if you have one uh, i mean find one kb1 then you multiplied by 4 that gives the final vertical stress so let us see for this ratio m and n ratio what is kb1 okay so uh, see now m is equal to 0 0.2 and n is 0 0.4 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 this one 0.2 and m is 0.2 and n is 0.4 this is n this is 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.0328 okay kb1 is 0 0.0328 0 0.0328 kb1 so uh, what is the stress stress is equal to the formula i have given 4q into kb1 actually the formula is sigma z is equal to 
Q into KB1, correct? Just say that I uh, have given this uh, in under rectangular. Q into K. This is the formula. Uh, okay. Um, so now here there are four uh, rectangles are there. So you have to multiply by four. Okay. So this is four into Q into KB one. So four into Q is eighty into KB one point zero three two eight. So that is equal to ten point five kilonewton per meter square. This is the first case. Now let us take the second case. That is for the point. Under the corner of the rectangle, okay, corner of the rectangle. So that is this side. Okay, here now corner means that full rectangle comes. Okay, it is the corner uh, of full rectangle. So in this case, A is equal to full length, that is two meter, and B is equal to four meter. Okay, see the difference. First one is at the center. That's why we have considered four rectangles. But here at the corner, corner for one rectangle. That is this side. So area of the rectangle is now two into four. So A is equal to two and B is equal to four. So what is the ratio? M is equal to A divided by Z. A is equal to two and Z is five. So equal to point four. And N is equal to B divided by Z. B is equal to four meter and uh, Z is equal to five. So point eight. So again, you have to find what is the KB value that is for M is point four and is equal to point eight. Point four, point eight, point four, and point eight. This one point zero nine three one. Okay, point zero nine. Three one point zero nine three one. So uh, that is KB value. So vertical stress is equal to Q into KB. Here no need to multiply by four because corner is only one for the rectangle. That is eighty into KB is point zero nine three one equal to seven point four five kilonewton per meter square. So like this you can find what is uh the vertical stress under uh the uh, five meter below the center and uh, also the corner of the loaded area next uh, let us solve the same uh, problem using other method that is equivalent load method how to calculate this here uh, the same example okay uh, by but, but the method is different equivalent load method so first let us consider at the center case okay now here divide loaded area into four equal rectangles of size 1 meter by 2 meter same thing what we have done in the last case each area will represent a point load q dash that is equal to area into load okay so area is what 1 into 2 because we have divided the loaded area into four equal rectangles so area is 1 into 2 so 1 into 2 Into eighty, the load that is equal to one sixty kilonewton acting at its centroid. Okay, now first case for the point under the center. Now you have to calculate for. Uh, the point uh, vertical stress for the point under the center. Center means for uh, here also again. Um, uh, you, uh, you calculate for one, then you can multiply it by. Four, okay, because uh, all uh, are equally uh, divided. Area is same. So once if you find for one uh, quadrant, you can multiply it by four for uh, the other quadrant also. So first we have to calculate now for this method. You required R by Z ratio, okay, to find KB value. How to find R by Z ratio? We don't have R by Z ratio. Only Z value we have that is at five meter. But R we don't have. We have to calculate. How we can calculate R? So for this, I will consider first this circle, uh, rectangle. Any rectangle we can consider. But first, I will consider this rectangle. Okay. For this rectangle, centroid must be here. Okay. At the center. 
so for this how to calculate r r is equal to for this uh, this r is equal to suppose this is the r dash equal to one uh, sorry somewhere here so that is equal to this distance okay that is equal to one square and this is 0.5 square okay pythagoras formula you have to cal use this distance we want so that is 1 square plus 0.5 square so that is when you simply because based on this uh, equation uh, the radial distance from the point p or from now from point a the r is equal to x square plus y square or to the power half or square root of x square plus y square. Now x is equal to for this is 1 and y is 0 0.5. So 1 plus 0 0.5 square equal to 1.118. Now r is equal to 1. 0.118 we can consider r dash because uh, a other uh, next uh, for uh, finding the uh, vertical stress under uh, the corner we may require other r values also to, in order to avoid the confusion this we will consider as r dash to find at the center okay now r dash by z means r by z ratio we have to calculate r dash is equal to 1.118 divided by z is equal to 5 so we get 0 0.223 r by z ratio is 0 0.223 what is kb value first i have given one uh, table for concentrated load using business equation so here see this ratio 0 0.223 r by z ratio is 0 0.223 right point two two three fine point two two three somewhere here okay it between this and this value point four two four two here it is considered point four two four seven it's okay no problem you can consider point four two four two also okay that is in between this value point two two and point two three value is considered that is point four two four seven now we have the formula for equivalent point load that I have given in the last class for this formula. Sigma z is equal to q dash divided by z square into summation of kb. Correct? So, use that uh, equation. Sigma z is equal to q dash divided by z square into summation of kb. So, that is equal to 160 that is q dash here we got this 160 into 4 because there are 4 quadrant so 4 into 0.4247 kb value divided by z square that is 5 square so we get 10.87 okay so this is just calculated what is the percentage error in the previous example we got 10.5 and here 10.87 so error is 3.5 10.87 minus 10.5 divided by 10.5 okay so that is equal to 3.5 percent this is for the first case at the center next let us calculate for the second uh, case that is corner b here you have to calculate how to calculate the influence of each area unit will be different let r1 r2 r3 and r4 be the radial distances of centroids of each unit from b okay this is r1 centroid of this rectangle this is r2 centroid of this rectangle this is r3 centroid of this rectangle and this is uh, centroid of this rectangle why we have to calculate r different because this is we are calculating at the corner so the effect is different but when the previous problem we considered at the center of this so center of each rectangle is same so uh, we just multiplied by 4 but here it is not possible so we have to calculate uh, each um, rectangles differently okay for that again here we require r by z ratio to find kb value how to find again use the same formula radial distance of the point p is equal to r that is equal to square root of x square plus y square i'll continue in the next class uh, thank you